Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Um, I've got some little 1x2 um, boards here. And then this is a 1x4 going across here with one going back across as a frame. Okay, and what this is going to be, it's going to hold all of my acrylic paints. Now, how I've done this is I've taken two paint stirring sticks and I've put them here and then I put the paint right in there and that's how I left my spacing so it's not like a fight to get it in and out. So when I measure for the next board to make it easy without having to keep measuring over and over again, I'm just kind of using the paint stirring sticks as my template. Then I set my next board right down in here. Sorry, I don't have the phone on the tripod. Okay, and then the paint sticks go up in here. And then what I do is I push this up nice and snug with that. And then I do the same thing on the opposite side. And then I take the nail gun and I put two nails here. If you use screws, you're going to have to um, pre-drill it and then you're going to have to countersink it and all that stuff. And you're not really working with enough wood to do all that with. Um, I mean, it can be done, but it's going to be hard, and this will hold just fine. These are 29 inches, so all of your center pieces are 29 inches, and then you just make the length that you want. I'm doing mine at six and a half. That way it can go on the whole wall. I'm going to go ahead and nail these, and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, now make sure this is even here. And then I have the board underneath, the two paint sticks here, and then the acrylic bottle in between. If you don't have a nail gun, you can just use um, finishing nails or paneling nails. And then there it is. It's nice and tight. Pop out your paint stick and your paint, and then you've got plenty of room for that to go in there. So when it's hanging on the wall, it'll work great. Now the purpose of putting this frame here at the top is to give it some base, like some meat. You can put like a cricket sign or something on here if you want, but um, it also allows you to attach it to your wall. I'm going to screw it directly in the studs and then I'm going to countersink holes in here. I'll probably do one on each end and then one on the bottom on each end as well. And then that'll give me that. And then once it's all done, I don't know if I'm gonna paint these middle boards yet or if I'm gonna um, leave them natural because the desk is teal and natural. So we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these boards on and I'll show you the bottom. Okay, so when you're doing it by yourself after you get down a few of these um, shelves, you're going to want to put a long clamp going all the way across it so that you have it. If you have somebody to hold it for you, you won't need the clamp. Okay, so I flipped it around. I've got all of the shelves on that I want that are for the small. Now, the next two shelves, I've got plenty of room to do several more, at least three more of the little ones. But I do have a few of these bingo daubers that I use for staining stuff. And I have a couple of the larger paint. Not many. I don't really buy this paint too much. But I do want to have the option to put it somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and make the last two shelves exactly like I did all the others. Only I'm going to make them a little bit longer. Or a little bit wider. Okay, so for the very last board, you want to line it up even here and flush with the back. So that it's completely level. Now I'm doing all this on a board because I have a glass table. But um, once it's even there, then you can press this board down against that. Okay? If you end up with where it's too long in between with the measurements that you're using for your bottles, then you can just um, stop it at that end and just leave a gap at the bottom or just leave an empty space. Or you could put a couple of these in like that as fillers. It's completely up to you what you want to do. 
but I'm going to go ahead and nail this one in. Make sure it's nice and flush here as well. Sometimes you have to put some pressure on this board because when you're buying the cheap wood like this, it's not always straight. Okay, so I put two in here along this edge and now I'm gonna do the bottom here. careful not to get your fingers and not to come through on the back side. Now I'm going to repeat this side and I'll be done. Oh, camera slid. Sorry about that. Okay, so just in case it slid before that, I put two in here and then two in here. One here and one here on this side. And now I'll do the same thing. I'll put one, two, and then one and two. Make sure it's nice and flush. That way you don't come through the, with the nail. One, two. Now make sure this is nice and even down here. I kind of slide this baseboard down and press it against it so that I have it. Okay. And then that completes this whole project other than painting it if I decide to paint it. Okay, so it's not up there yet. I just have it leaning against the wall and behind the molding. It's going to move a little bit away from the molding and then it's going to go up a little bit higher so it's closer to like where that vent is. So it'll kind of be like, kind of like that. And then it'll go down and then that way I can reach all of the paint. All right, and then it'll hold like all of the acrylics and on the bottom, it, on the bottom two shelves where they're wider that'll hold the taller things, but it'll get screwed into the um, two by four so that it doesn't go anywhere. But I will tell you, it's very heavy. I mean, I believe, I can't remember now what I said it was, but I believe these were um, 29 or 30 for the center pieces. And then this, I believe was six and a half. I can't remember, I have to look it up. I'll put it in the comments or in the description below so you have the measurements, but I was going to use um, this little acrylic thing here that I bought or nail polish stand that hangs on the wall and you paint it and everything. But the problem I was having is that the shelves were not wide enough to hold the acrylics in between here to here. So I went ahead and I cut a shelf off on the top and bottom, but I have like so much paint that it just won't hold it all anyway. So I've decided to go ahead and keep this and use this for like maybe like my nail polishes because I've got like an entire bin full of one of these full of nail polishes. So unfortunately I already took off two of the shelves, can't do nothing with that. But you know, I can put some on here and some on the other ones and then call it a day. But that's what I was going to do originally. And I love this shelf. I think it's just so pretty with like the little swirls and stuff. And then I do think I'm going to paint that because I don't know that I really care for the the brown or at least paint some of it. I don't know. I think it'll look better if it's all teal. And I'm probably going to put something at the top with the Cricut. I don't know. I'll make some kind of saying or something to go up there. But um, that's it. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and um, maybe I didn't measure each piece and I used the paint sticks and the acrylic to make my spacing and everything. Um, so you may want to measure it 
if you want to have it exact 100% because, you know, what I did worked for me. It might not work for you. You might want to measure it. Um, I'm not going to go back and take my measuring tape and measure each one to see if I'm off by a sixteenth of an inch. But, you know, if you're very detail-oriented, you may want to do that. Just measure it and mark your lines. But anyway, thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.